Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step how to make your own weekend Parisian croissant. French pastries have made a name for themselves as being difficult to make. However, if you have time to spare, they're not as difficult as you might think, as you can span the process out over three days or a long weekend. And if you make them ahead, you can get them out just before you want to eat them and have your own Parisian breakfast in the comfort of your own home. To accompany the recipe is a selection of songs by George and Ira Gershwin from the new musical An American in Paris. You can read the recipe on my blog at www.englishsingingbaker.wordpress.com and you can hear the songs again on my SoundCloud playlist. Before we get baking, let's make sure we have everything we need together. Now we've got everything we need, let's get baking. Start by making the dough. On the Friday night, or the night before you want to start making the croissant, mix together the flour, sugar and salt in a big mixing bowl. Then, as if you are making a crumble, rub the butter into the dry ingredients until it has almost disappeared. Add the yeast to the mix before combining the milk and water in a jug. Make a well in the centre of the dry mix and pour in the wet mixture. Stir the mixture all together until there are no dry ingredients left at the bottom of the bowl and nothing sticking around the sides. When the dough has come together, spread it out into the base of the bowl and cover with the shower cap to keep any air out and the dough moist. Then leave the dough in the fridge overnight. This allows the dough to relax before you work it and adds to the flavour of the finished croissant. The next day, it's time to laminate the dough you made with butter. Laminating 
means creating layers of butter in a dough to enrich it and make it a flaky texture. Take the butter out of the fridge and sprinkle it with flour before bashing with a rolling pin to make a rough square. Leave to one side. A top tip for butter in this recipe is investing in good quality French butter, such as President, as it has a bigger percentage of fat to water than other cheaper alternatives. Take the dough out of the fridge and place on the floured surface. Roll it out into an inch high square. Then take the sharp knife and cut four slits at each of the corners, leaving a small square in the middle. Gently pull apart and roll each section so that you are left with thinner edges and slightly raised middle. Put the butter on the middle square and fold over the top, bottom and sides of the dough to encase the butter like a parcel. Take a rolling pin and roll out the parcel you have just made into a vertical rectangle about the length of your rolling pin with the seam running down the center. When you have rolled it out, brush off any excess flour with the pastry brush and fold the dough in three, bringing the bottom third up to the center and the top folded over it. Gently press down with a rolling pin, wrap the dough in greaseproof paper and leave in the fridge to rest for one hour. When the hour is up, Take the dough out of the fridge and repeat the step you did before. Roll out the dough into a rectangle, brush off the flour, fold in thirds and leave to rest in the fridge for another hour. Repeat this step two more times before leaving the dough to rest in the fridge overnight to cement the layers of butter you have created. If you can't leave the dough overnight, leave it in the fridge as long as you can as it makes the finished croissant even better. When the dough has rested overnight, take it out of the fridge and line the baking trays with greaseproof paper. Sprinkle a clean surface with flour and roll out the dough into a horizontal rectangle. It needs to be about one centimetre high and about the length of one and a half rolling pins. When the dough is rolled out, Take a sharp knife, I like to use a serrated bread knife, and start to cut your croissant. Trim off the excess dough from each side to give you a clean edge, and then using your four fingers as a guide, start from the left and place your fingers against the bottom corner before cutting diagonally from where they stop. Move your first triangle aside, then place your fingers at the top and cut another triangle from where your fingers stop. Continue cutting triangles until you have around 11 or 12 and have used up all the dough. 
with all your triangles of dough to hand. Start shaping your croissant or crescents by placing them with the base facing you and the tip the furthest away. Make a small slit with your knife in the base and then twist over the sides and roll the croissant up until you reach about an inch before the top. Then gently stretch the last bit of dough and tuck the point under and you have your first croissant. Obviously this takes years to perfect, but as they are homemade, it doesn't matter if they are rustic. Continue making your croissant with the remaining triangles and then place them, a little spread out, on the baking trays. I got rhythm I got music I got my guy who could ask for any more I got daisies in green pastures I got my guy who could ask for any more Oh, that trouble I don't mind him You won't find him round my door I got starlight I got sweet dreams I got my guy who could ask for When you have shaped your croissant, you have a choice of how you want to use them. If you want to eat them straight away, leave them to rise in a warm place for about two hours. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees centigrade and brush them with beaten egg before baking for 12 to 15 minutes until they are golden brown and are light to the touch around the edges. Or, if you want to use them later, place the baking trays in the freezer for an hour or so, and put about four frozen croissants into each sandwich bag. You can keep them for up to a month in the freezer, and then you can eat them whenever you want to. All you need to do is take them out of the freezer the night before and cover with a tea towel before leaving them to rise and defrost overnight. Then, in the morning, continue like the bake option above and enjoy with strawberry jam and your hot drink of choice to have a Parisian breakfast in the comfort of your own home. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tuneful baking content. See you next time for another video. But in the meantime, happy baking.